Logging it up. Are you rolling, dude? Jeez. <laughs> All right, so we're here at YT Industries in San Clemente, California. Uh, today is new bike day for me. I'm picking up my first ever, I've never owned a YT Capra. Uh, this Capra that I'm getting is the MX version, so it's 27.5 in the rear and 29 up front. Uh, this is the newest model and make of the Capra, so I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so my homie Joe has been inside. He's been working on it. I had a bunch of stuff shipped here from a bunch of different brands that I ride for so that he could build it up perfectly for the reveal. And uh, now we're here and we get to finally see it. Found Joe. It's dark in here. <laughs> you bringing that thing out? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's oh, 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 we're vlogging, bro. We're vlogging. What's going on? This is the homie Mitch. He's What's the man. What's going on, everybody? Yep. He's, he's still waking up this morning. He's got his coffee. Yeah, I just got my tea. It's a beautiful day out here. Yo, let me turn on the lights in here. <laughs> no, 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 dark's good, dark's good. Dark's good? You like dark? Yeah, dark's good. He said dark's good. Oh boy, here it comes. Woo, you can hear it from a mile away, baby. Ooh. Nice. Man, this thing is sick. I love this color. What do you think, Joe? It looks good. Thing is beautiful. Are, uh, are you psyched on it? I know you like to, to nerd out on the builds a little bit and you get really into detail. Yep, I mean, we replaced the headset, made it a little bit smoother. The wheels are amazing. It's, it's dial. Dude. This thing is so sick. I'm so hyped. I just can't even believe it. I absolutely love the color too. It is just so dope. I can't wait to ride this thing. It's gonna be awesome. It's always a cool feeling when, uh, when you have an idea of how you want your bike to look and then I haven't even seen it at all to, until this point so when Joe rolled it out, it was just such a cool feeling to see that idea in reality. So I am just super psyched on how everything. And TRP sent me gold brakes, which I didn't even expect. I thought they were gonna just send me silver ones, so that's a surprise too. Really stoked. All right, so we're here with Joe. He's one of the head mechanics at, here at YT. Uh, we're gonna do just kind of a rundown of this of the Capra. It's a brand new frame this year, new model. Uh, so Joe, first off, how has the Capra changed uh, into this new model from last year's? So the biggest thing is you're gonna have a little bit slacker head angle, uh, and then you're gonna have that steeper seat post angle to make it easier to climb, more efficient, get you in a better attack position on that going on the uphill. Yeah. Uh, also, we switched from doing a 27.5 dedicated model on a 29 to a 29 in MX version. This is the MX we have here. So we have a 29 up front, 27.5 in the rear. This bike comes a little bit short, shorter chain stays than the full 29 model. So. Okay. Um, so as far as climbing goes, would you say out of the whole YT lineup, probably best to worst climber is still Izzo, Jeffsy, Capra then? Um, I would, that's still, you know, kind of how it's modeled, but I will say this bike with the, with the new Geo climbs really well. Like it's very comparable to the Jesse and how it gets up the hills, but you got a lot more cushion on the way down. So you okay. get the benefit of both worlds there. And then speaking of climbing, uh, if you guys can see, they've added the water bottle mount to the bike. So now you can ride your capper with a water bottle. What do you think about that? Oh, it's awesome. It's easy to get to while you're pedaling. It's convenient. The other side of the frame, which we can show doesn't have any uh, bar there, so it's really easy to grab the bottle and put it back in, so super convenient. Yeah, and to be honest, that's like one of the main reasons I haven't ever ridden a Capra is because I ride a lot of single track, do a lot of climbing, and it's super convenient. Even with the Jeffs, even though it's a, the water bottle slightly smaller than this one, uh, it's still liquid on the ride <laughs> that I can be drinking. So uh, I'm really hyped on the water bottle feature alone on this bike. And it's a full size water bottle and you can buy it, fit any water bottle from any bike shop. So it's really convenient, so. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to uh, the old stuff was like the, the Fidlock system, right? Where it's the click in, click out with the magnets. Uh, perfect. 
Uh, what do you think about, uh, okay, so what do you think about how I customize the bike? You know, obviously every time I do a build, I have, I have a bunch of stuff sent in from, from sponsors and whatnot. I'm actually really taken back by the TRP brakes because I didn't realize they were going to send me goldies. I mean, they match with the Kashima perfectly, really so it really do. pops. Yeah. Uh, and the DD color matches almost perfectly, so I mean, the whole thing just kind of flows. It's nice. Yeah. Um, um, at, for for wheel builds that you've seen, this one is uh, is kind of special to me. I started riding these these atomic carbon rims and uh, in the bird spoke setup to the profile hubs about a year ago. It was the first time I tried to build like that, and I absolutely love it. The wheel set that I have on my Jeff C is almost a year old, and I have it's the wheels are as straight as they were when they came out of the box. Well, they're awesome, they're light, they're stiff, but they still have compliance from the, the Kevlar spoke. I mean, it's they're beautiful wheels, and this, the rear hub sounds amazing, so. <laughs> That's the profile way right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, anything else that you want to add to it? Um, I, mean, I think we kind of covered everything. We do have it set in the low position. You have two positions, so you have a, a 64-80 head angle on the high and a 64.3 on the low so yeah I mean lower longer slacker is always usually best but right yeah I like to call, <laughs> I, I like to call it dad mode and not dad mode yeah on the flip <laughs> chip so we have it in not dad mode we're on the aggressive side uh, what okay so for the flip chip then so if someone were to flip it into the high mode uh, what type of geo would that put someone at and in what type of riding is that like kind of a less of a downhill yeah. style ride? More that or really like tighter terrain where the trees are really tight, really tight corners being a little bit steeper would make it a little bit more negotiable through there. Um, but I mean everything around here, it's steep on the way up, but our descents are pretty steep, so that slack angle or party mode. Yeah. Probably a better way to go. Yeah, you want it in the party <laughs> mode, not the dad mode, for sure. Perfect. Alright, well, I think that's it. We'll we'll I'm gonna walk through some of the highlights that I'm super stoked on. And uh, dude, thank you so much for building my bike and always taking care of me and, and uh, making these dream builds come true. Well, I'm excited to see you rip on this thing, so. I'm excited to rip it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I wanna show you guys some of the custom things I did this bike out of the box. We'll start up here in the cockpit area. Uh, I went with the DD Copperhead stem, 35 millimeter length, 35 millimeter bore so that I could uh, use the Carbon Speedway DD bar. Uh, I've got the TRP uh, DHR Evos, and I absolutely love these brakes, and shout out to TRP for sending the gold ones because I was kind of just expecting to get uh, the silver ones, and they literally match with the Kashima so well on the forks and suspension. Um, I've got, you know, fresh ODI grips, so super hyped on that. And then moving to the seat, we just switch it up. Obviously, I've got all the, uh, the blue colors to match the frame, so I had to go with the, with the speed trap seat. Uh, the next thing that we've got is the uh, Yoshimura pedals. So, got the Yoshimura Chileo pedals. Uh, these pedals are seriously the best pedals that I've ever put my feet on, and I'm not just saying that. I rode these for uh, a year before I worked out a sponsorship deal with them, and I absolutely love them. They're super grippy and amazing and you can custom coat or custom color like all the pins to whatever color bike you have and that's honestly the most exciting thing for me because as you can see i love the customization of colors <laughs> uh this is the real big uh part of the bike that came together really well so this is the biggest part of the bike uh the wheel set for me uh the wheel set is very very custom um, i started building this type of wheel set i'm going to move it over here just so i started building this type of wheel set just under a year ago and uh, so i'll give you the quick rundown i've got my profile racing hubs these are the elite mtb hubs and then uh, we've got the bird spokes so naturally these spokes come in white but you can dye them you can have them dye them and you can get all kinds of different colors, but these are the black bird spokes. And then 
This is a new rim for this year for Atomic Carbon. Uh, it's called the Atomic Fusion Carbon Rim. Uh, it is made of a completely different type of carbon that doesn't use resins. Uh, this is actually the first time that I'm using this rim, so I'm really excited to try it out. Um, and then I've got the Maxxis DHF tire. I'm actually gonna run it front and rear. Uh, I tested out running the DHF front and rear uh, on my bike all last year and I really loved it. So I'm gonna try it uh, on this bike and see how it goes. Um, outside of that, like I've got, you know, links and stuff for all, for all of this specific wheel set stuff. I know a lot of people are, uh, are a little weird, weirded out by the polymer spoke that Bird makes, but honestly, this is the most compliant wheel set I've ever ridden. It's like having more suspension on your bike. But I have links for all this stuff. I'll leave them in the comments in the description and, and you guys can check that stuff out for yourself.